Hello and welcome generals welcome back to another zero hour guide and today I will be showing you how to download and install and uninstall Shockwave Chaos Mod also known as Chaos Mod. Now to get to this page you can just google it and type in Shockwave Chaos Mod zero hour or you can click in the in description uh, sorry on the link in the description and it will bring you here. Okay now I must tell you before you install this mod if you don't already know you also have to install Shockwave 1.201 which is another, mo another mod. So once you install that mod uh, you can then install this mod otherwise you cannot play this mod. I've already got a video out on how to install Shockwave 1.201 I will also add that in the description. Uh, so you have to read uh, sorry install that uh, mod first and then you can come to this one. Anyway, when you do get here, uh, you just need to download the latest update. Right now it's 40. It might be 41, 42, 43, whatever by the time you get here. And click on download. Now, I'm not actually going to download it right now because I've already downloaded it. Just to speed things up. So, we're going to close that. And you should have this folder here. So, right click, extract. And that will bring you this folder. Okay. Now, before we do anything here, we want to go to where your zero hour is installed. So for me right now is Origin Games, so I'm going to go to here. If you don't have Origin Games, you've got the original, you just go to Program Files, uh, EA Games, and instead of Origin Games, and then you'll find uh, your folder, uh, this one over here. So what we are going to do right now, like I said, you have to have Shockwave installed. You're going to right click and do Copy, and you're going to hopefully get um, Shockwave mod uh, copied. Now, you don't have to do this part, but I highly advise uh, that way if there's any problems with the mod, uh, with your install, for example, you installed it wrong, it won't affect um, Shockwave mod. Or if uh, you want to uninstall and you don't know which files to remove, again, it won't in uh, affect uh, Shockwave mod. Uh, so that's why it's important. Okay, now we go back to this and come open this. Now you can go to the readme and read this, but I've already installed this quite some time ago. Uh, just reinstalling everything again. Uh, so I'm not going to read it, but if you do read it, it tells you um, basically if you're not going to make a copy of the folder uh, to remove some files from your original folder and keep them safe and then paste these, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to open the chaos mod and we are going to drag over all of these and we are simply just going to copy them over. It'll ask you to replace. Uh, yep, there we go, replace. Uh, so we're going to do that and that should be enough to get us working. Now we're just going to go to the launcher. So that's uh, over here. I'm going to make a shortcut of it. Rename it to Chaos. And then we will click Yes. And it should be brought with this. It does still say Shockwave. But don't worry about that. It should actually load up with Chaos Mod. Um, so let's just see. Hopefully anyway. Okay, so... As you can see, this is Chaos Mod loading up. Or how loaded up over here. And yeah, we're actually not gonna play it. Enemy contact confirmed. So we should see some fast. chaos stuff over here. In a second, I believe. Um, maybe I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so you can see it's a shock with chaos supply that's thing over here. Um, yeah, but yeah, this time you install it now. If you want to uninstall the the mod, all you have to do is go back to here. So over here, and all you're gonna do is um, delete this folder. If you delete that folder, it'll delete the mod. Then you can also delete the shock cookie. But yeah, hopefully that will have helped some of you guys uh, if you didn't have to install it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you hopefully in another video.